there, and welcome back to class. Sensei is here to teach you about working with subdivision. Let's get that final model base done and dusted so we can move on to other things. Let's go peeps, this is going to be a long one. Alright, this is where we left off last time. We were working on the body and the head. Now this does not have a subdivision modifier on. Especially by the looks of things. Those hands are going to need a lot of help. And so are those feet. Those feet are going to too, for sure. Let's see what we can do. So first, starting with the body. Let's add a modifier. And subdivision, subsurface. So it's going to smooth a little basically everything out. This is basically going to smooth everything out. But it also add some more vertices. If we quickly pop into modeling and click that, the on cage, you can kind of see a bit better how the shapes are looking. Now it's lost a lot of the roundness, well not the roundness, the uh, thickness in certain areas. I'm just going to have to get that back. So, let's go to layout and then edit mode, get these screencast keys on. We're going to do exactly what we did last time. Of getting of getting these these shapes the right shape <laughs> try and get these in the right place so every movement now is gonna affect the other vertices like that Need to be a little bit more thoughtful about it because you don't only just have these vertices that you see but there's there's some in the middle of each of these so each of these will be split in four so that's going to be a vertice here 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 because of this subdivision subsurface modifier let's see what we can do about these these ankles let's just turn that on for a second Grab that. Grab this. Oh, and just be careful not to bring it too close to the middle. I'm just scaling these in the x axis, so S to scale and then drag it in the x axis. Bring this down. I'm going to turn proportional editing on and grab this. And drag. Remember, it's still mirrored, so it's going to mirror on the other side. Drag this over a little bit. Drag this in. This out. Should only take a second or two to fix these all up again. Scale in the x direction for these. What else do we have the shoulder area? Just gonna grab that with proportional editing on. G to grab and pull. And make this arm a bit bigger, so I'm just gonna scale it. That will do. Just grabbing and Pushing and pulling. Now this will affect what this looks like without without the subdivision on. So if if you want to not keep a lower poly, poly model, then what you want to do is make sure 
you're following this but without the subdivision on and also save it save a copy so you can keep a, a low a low poly version you're gonna have to go back to getting a reference for the hands but for now let's just get these shapes looking good so it's the same same as i said last time um you want to be editing this in the y direction because we've already sorted out the front now when we go to this side when you press numpad three only working in the y direction so just pulling this pulling this a little bit now this scale in the y direction grab in the y direction very important this scale in the y direction s then y grab g in the y direction getting that shape back let's do it again scale in the y direction g y looking a lot better and just have a look around and see if you're liking the shapes because we do have that subdivision on things going to be a lot more rounded which is good the round shapes are good you just want to double check that everything is on the rounder side of things so this isn't looking too bad at all and as for the as for the loops direction that's pretty decent now i'm thinking this shape here i don't like so i'm gonna edit that i'm gonna bring these closer together so just being careful grab in the x direction pull that closer but not to clip Let's turn clipping off for a second to see if we can get these closer. Clip in the X direction. That's a better shape. I'm in the X direction. It's meant to be her back, remember? I'm going to turn clipping back on and x-ray on make sure this middle line is doing all right so I'm just going to select that one grab it. oh actually let's turn proportional editing off just in case grabbing the x direction it's not moving grabbing the x direction it's not moving either Just want to make sure this is together. Okay. 
everyone's looking all right. Turn the x-ray off for a second again. Right, that's the that's the main body part. Let's 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 go back to object mode. Leaving that sub subdivision on and see this head if this needs some more thing. So um, add modifier, then go to subdivision subsurface. That's there. Then we go to edit mode. And it has made the chin go up a bit, so let's let's first turn on on cage. So click that there. Turn on turn on proportional editing. Let's grab this in the y direction. Grab in the z direction. And just make sure everything is in a good place. That eye is looking fine, just needs to be a little bit wider. Scale in the z, nope, in the x direction. You can see it isn't looking too bad. I'm still going to pull it out though. To round it out. Okay, let's see this side. Push that up just a tiny bit. Grab this nose, pull it out. Because that has definitely lost its shape. Now this bump, don't worry about it. We can sort it out after applying the subdivision, but not right now. Deselect this with control and then select the area. I'm going to select this again, grab, push not, editing, scroll that down to make that smaller, control, grab, the, grab, the, grab, the, it's a better shape, grab this, Grab this, pull it out, grab this, pull it forward, I'm just going to grab in the y direction, give it a bit of a forehead, grab this, I'm going to push this backwards, and also scale in the y direction to flatten it out. This is looking good to me. I'm gonna bring this up again. Let's turn off X ray and have another look at this face. Now, what I am gonna do, I'm still gonna. See if I can bring this forehead out a little bit. I'm just going to grab it like that and push it this way just a bit. Because I like this rounded shape. 
So remember this this 45 degree angle ish. Keep an eye on that. You don't want it to start looking weird. That's looking a lot better. So this is what you want to look for. A curved forehead. The eyes are somewhat flattened. A cheek that goes out a little bit. This mouth area dips in a tiny bit and the chin rounds out at the bottom. That's what you want. To, that's what you want. Now this nose, you can make it thinner if you like. You can go like that and make it thinner, which would be a lot more anime, but I'm not going to do that. You're more than welcome to. I just prefer a more neutral anime style than an extreme anime style. Because I just think it looks, I just think it looks better. Especially at angles like, like this. Because usually it'd be really pointy and straight. But this curved style I like. Alright. Now. What I am going to do. Here. Is the eyelashes. Do that. You want to select. These faces. Shift D. And then. You right click once, P, separate, by selection. Alright, let's go back to your object mode. And save, remember to save your work. This, rename it to eyelashes. Go to modeling. I'm going to try and get this shape in a nice way. So actually, you can go to modeling mode, I'm going to go to edit mode. It doesn't matter too much. So I'm going to hit Control R to do a loop cut. And do that. Loop cut right in the middle. I'm going to delete this. Delete faces. Now I've got that. Let me temporarily disable the head. So just click that eyeball and try and get this looking like the shape. I'm gonna click this. Grab. Oh, turn off optional editing. Try and get these shapes right. You want to try and leave this line here. You want to try and leave it alone as much as you can. But what you can do is bring these down. And put loops there. Looks like this. Double tap G to drag. Oh wait. No. Let's try and leave that intact. So, control R, add a loop there. We can grab these, little touchy, drag them down. And also hit E to extrude. Same with this, E to extrude. Scale. E. Scale. 
also going to do is firstly look at these from the, the the edge and try and bring this to a better position. You can just have a guess at it for now. Let's have a look from the edge. I think it needs to go forward. Push it forward. Grab these. I think it needs to go forward. Push it forward. These seem like they need to go backwards, so I'm just gonna grab them, push them back. It's gonna hit A to select all and E to extrude. It's gonna push it in that direction just a little bit I'm also going to do is select these back faces so go on face select this one this one this one this one this one keep selecting them and then X delete faces so that's what that's going to look like all right let's turn that head back on Get these shapes looking nice. So just grab them, push and pull until it looks like a more appropriate shape to what you're doing. So feel free to turn X ray on if you need to. Grab them, push that up, grab that. Try and get as close to those lines as possible, even though they might look really blurry. I hope you guys are starting to remember what all the all the shortcuts are, because I'm starting to forget to say them. <laughs> this one might be useful if I, because um, I'm working on a light background. You should be able to see, you should be able to read that even if it's a little tricky shouldn't be shouldn't be too hard to read so still just neatening this up push that there pull these pull these out go there's your eyelashes have another look to make sure it's not sticking out too weird and because we did that edit at the start it's not looking too bad it's not looking too bad at all you can still turn off uh, x-ray Push these back and forth a little bit just in the y direction so they stick out a bit less so just having a look to see how close it is to the head and push it back parts like these you do want to be as close as possible 
to the head so push those back these two push them back not so far that they go into the head like that you don't want to do that too much keep pushing these back back and forth Okay, that was looking better to me. Now for the eyebrows, we're going to do more or less the same thing. Now let's get these little these little eyelashes. So to create a, a shape from absolutely nothing, this is what we're going to do. We're going to make sure nothing is selected. So just tap A and then double tap A. Just make sure nothing is selected. We're going to hit Control and we're going to click with the left mouse. Click 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 now with that one we're gonna shift click the one next to it m to merge at last all right now select that we're gonna hit f to make a face all right let's go to the side e to extrude we got a little little eyelash We're going to delete the back face, so it looks like this. And push it back in the y direction, rotate in the z direction, I'm trying to get this to look somewhat flat to the face. Remember, this does have a subdivision modifier, so as you can see, all these squares are divided into four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So just keep an eye on that. So that looks good enough to me. I'm going to shift D to duplicate, drag it over, rotate it a little bit, and then let's try and get this somewhat flat to the skin. Rotate in the Z direction, rotate in the X direction. Alright, that looks good to me. Let's go to object mode. Object, shade, smooth. as your eyelashes. Now eyebrows, we're gonna go to the head, we're gonna go to edit mode, we're gonna select these. So these are the ones we're gonna select. This one, that one, that one, and that one. Shift D to duplicate, right click once. P, separate by selection, click that. Object mode. Select this, rename it to eyebrows. All right, back to edit mode. We're gonna add some loop cuts. So here, we're gonna drag it across until it hits the edge. I'm gonna do another one here. I'm gonna select these faces. These two, X, delete, faces. Control R, more loop cuts, there. Select this, shift, 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 click on all of these. Delete, faces. So now, this is why I take these shapes directly from the head. 
because it follows the curve, which is which saves you a lot of time instead of doing it from scratch. Alright. Let's go to 30 select and drag these down. So double tap G, drag down, double tap G, double tap G. Just follow the shape of the eyebrow. Now here it kind of disappears, but feel free to elongate it or change the shape, whatever works for you. I'm going to add another loop here. Just follow those shapes until you get a nice eyebrow. Now, I like this shape. You might not like it. That's okay. That is okay. Just try and make sure it's not clipping into the face. A. E to extrude. Push it out a little bit. And we want to hide the head for a second. We're going to select these back faces and what are we going to do with them? We're going to delete them. Nice. Alright, head back on. Are these shapes looking okay to you? If no, fix them. Let's get these eyebrows done today. I'm going fast today. Fast lesson. <laughs> You better keep up or you're staying behind class. You're gonna go to your lunch break late. Alright. Go to object mode. Let's hide this. Wait. This for a second. And let's turn off x ray. Nice shapes. Now what I do want to do is, let's see if I can get this mouth shape to copy the reference a little bit more. So I'm just going to move some of these so they're more like the reference. Because right now it's a little, it's a little odd looking. Rotate that. Grab, put it there. These two, I'm gonna have to go up a bit. I just want to keep an eye on how it looks. That looks okay to me. It's going to look even better with an emission shadow. Oh, actually, let me stay in, in this mode here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna round this out a bit more. Go to sculpting mode. Let's smooth some of these shapes out. 
If you want to make your brush smaller, just hit F and drag. The other thing you can do is change this radius here, but the F drag is is pretty convenient, so I don't know why you wouldn't use it. Just be careful not to touch the edges, because you will deform them. I like the look of that. Okay, save your work. Now at this point I would advise you to make a copy of the model and save it. So to do that, instead of normally just control S or going to this file menu and hitting save, you want to, you want to say uh, save copy and it'll save a copy of your file wherever you need it and then you can continue working on this. Okay? I recommend you doing that. I'm personally not going to do that. Now, we've done all that, I'm going to go back to the body. And these hands need help. Pick your favourite finger. I like this middle finger. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> I'm going to select it. And actually, I think I'm going to select this part too. And then, control I. It's going to select the inverse H to hide. Now we just have this finger here. You're going to be working on this like your life depends on it. This is This has to look good. This has to be good. Do not touch the end. Leave it be. Everything else, you can mess with. So, remember, references are not your enemy. Use them. Right now, I'm looking at my own hand and seeing how the shapes look, how the tip curves, how the nails look. I'm going to try and replicate that on this. I'm going to turn portal editing on. I'm try and keep it the same length too. Gonna select. Gonna go to face select and select this this edge right here. And also select this and these two. And I'm gonna push them down. Push that down to the side a little bit. Gonna deselect this actually let's do this deselect that whole loop with all the faces and then push that down so do you want that to dip in just want to keep an eye on clipping push this back and up I like that a lot better. And clipping isn't looking too bad either. Alright. Gonna select some edges. And deselect some too. Get this. And this. I'm going to pull these up to around 
to round the nail out. Actually, select that, deselect this. Not control to deselect. Round it out a bit. I know I said don't edit that, but just this once, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> just this once, it's gonna be okay. Just like these putties down. Just wanna make sure there's there's no really bad clipping. Cause right now I'm liking that shape. Let's get all line. Right, this, this is what we're going to do, we're going to grab our, pull these close to each other, going to do that again, pull this close to each other, and this doesn't want to go any closer, this doesn't want to go any closer, that's okay for now. Try and get this looking nice. Mainly just trying to even stuff out. Remember, your life depends on this finger, so make it good. Remember when I said we're gonna get one finger and then duplicate it to your ones? Yeah, this is when we're gonna do that. You might be asking, so why did we do all the other fingers? That's okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> Right now, just focus on making this look good. That's your main priority. Does this look like a good finger to you? Turn on next row. Do you think it looks round enough? I think it needs to be pulled one way or another. Fix it. <laughs> just fix it. Forehead. Trying to get this looking round and finger like. <laughs> I like that. Alt. Alt. Hide. Now this one looks better than all the other ones. So control I and shift D. Now we just have a finger to put wherever we want. Let's turn off proportionate editing. And do we want to lift this up? Let's move it across. The goal is... You want to attach this, but keep the same length as the finger that it's that you're replacing so with this one especially what we're gonna do is we're gonna scale it the tiniest bit it's the tiniest bit we're gonna push that up so it's looking roughly the same length can go forward a little bit more. And this is also gonna shrink a little bit. We can hit that. We can shift D. Right click once 
and move it out. This also, I'm going to scale the tiniest bit. This, and do the same thing. L, Shift D, right click once, move it out. This we're going to rotate in the Z direction. Just a tad bit. This one needs to be shortened as well. No, actually, no. No, it looks fine. All right. This is where we do the attaching. I'm gonna select this, this, this. Wait. Select that. X, delete, faces. L, X, delete, faces. Select. X, delete, faces. Right. L, let's move that strictly down and just try and get it in a good position just make sure you keep an eye on where everything is move it across a little bit if you need to but try not to move it in the y and x direction too much because you've already kind of tried to to um copy that from when you're putting it over the top all right so with these first let's turn off x-ray so you see what we're doing we're going to attach this finger to here so we select the finger um, vertically first then alt wait that one first then shift click m at last this one first, shift click, M, at last. This one first, keep going, at last. This one, this one, M, at last. Do that all the way around. This one, this one. Isn't that looking so much better? It should be looking way better. Alright, next thing is time. I'm going to quickly do this and this. X delete faces. Make sure proportion editing isn't on when we're doing this. Let's bring this down. Let's turn x-ray on. I'm going to try and get this in line. I'm trying not to move it too much in the y direction. Now with this one. Trying to get this in line. Now that one, I am going to rotate a little bit in the Z direction, just a little bit. This one too. R, Z. Move it a little bit that way. Gonna rotate a little bit in the X direction. Let's 
good to me. Turn off x-ray. Finger first, remember? At last. At last. At last. At last. Just keep going. Like it? Good. <laughs> Those fingers are looking way better than they did before. Now this hand is all flattened out, which is a real shame. But not focus on that right now let's focus on this thumb because this thumb is looking real whack let's do some of the thing what we did before it's looked go to face select also remember to save face select that one that one And you want to be careful with this. I'm going to grab it and pull it in a little bit. Thanks. You're going to grab it and push it in a little bit. Also, it's not looking super even. So let me turn on proportional editing actually and rotate that a little bit. I'm gonna grab this, oh, this face, and this face, and try and pull it out in that direction a tad. Remember I'm going to be using my real life thumb as a reference. So I'm looking at my thumb. I'm trying to edit this mesh in a way that it looks like my thumb. So you guys do the same. The proportional editing on should help. So the top part of the thumb looks alright, except for this whole thing, this whole shape thing going on.
and also my thumb is a lot longer than that so what I'm gonna do is turn that on grab that try and get in a good position push my editing on try and drag that out do is grab this, 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 and this where the middle finger is and pull that up to give that kind of a shape to the top of the hand. I'm gonna do that again a little bit. Not too much. Also bring that up a little bit, the rest area. What I also think I'm gonna do, let's do that. Turn on x-ray. I'm gonna select this area, including the little finger. I'm gonna turn that off for a second. Turn on proportional editing. And rotate that a little bit, bring it down and in and rotate a little bit. Alright, the side of the hand, I'm gonna select these. Gonna bring it in this direction. These middle ones, I'm gonna bring them up a little bit more. And a little bit more. Alright. Gonna give this hand some shape again. Gonna add a bit of fat in this area and in this area. The middle area is gonna have the most. So just pushing that up. This area a bit less. Gonna bring these closer together. So scale in the y direction and push this over as well. this out. See what I can do about this thumb. No, it's looking okay, but Do this again, select the little finger. 
I'm gonna rotate that in this other direction. Push it in the Y direction. And control, deselect that, shorten it a little bit. Just be careful when you're shortening it. You don't want to add a weird angle here. Alright, let's turn that off. Have a look at those hands. The thinnest part is going to be the middle here. I'm going to lift this up a little bit too. Alright. Whoa, already been going for an hour. What for, for now? These hands. I'm liking them a lot more than what was there before. These may need to be edited slightly later. But for now, the shape is not bad at all. The shape isn't bad at all. Now the feet, I'm not going to put as much effort in as the hands, unless unless you need a foot model. Let's do these individually, so grab this toe area, and this, and this, control I, H to hide, let's see this big toe, just the scrolling is very unfortunate. The main thing that's about. I'm sure there's a way to fix this so the scrolling isn't such a pain, but I personally don't know how to at the moment. This you just want to make the shapes look a bit better. I'm just scaling these in the x direction. And also trying to make the bottoms of these look a bit nicer too. Again, references are good. Neaten these out. The 
pull these off. This one too. Where the one stone. Alt H to unhide. It's the big toe. Improved. Let's keep going. Select this. Middle toe. You could, of course, do what we did with the fingers and just do one toe, but toes are weird, so I'm not going to do that. Um, control I, H to hide. So for start, this nail is super thin, so let's fix that. Try and make this look good as you can. better to me. Keep going for the rest of the toes. Control I. Hide. Now, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. You don't have to make sure the toes look beautiful because I think I've mentioned this like a hundred times already. Not all models you can see their feet. Actually, most models you can't see their feet. So it's going to scale this in the X direction. So for some of you, this is going to be a complete waste of time. For others, it's going to be the best time <laughs> investment. going. You can do it guys. Control I. H to hide. I'm going to save along the way.
I'm gonna shine this one up again because this one wasn't really shine properly. Oop, didn't select enough there. Control. Actually, just H to hide. Just here. Next, the little toe, which is not that little, as far as I can tell. Control I, H to hide. This toe needs a lot of help. Let's see. Let's just turn off that for a second. Turn it back on. Scale that. And this. Scale that. Wait, scale in the X direction. The rotate in the Z direction. Move that across. And this one. Scale in the X direction. Well, this big toe is a little underwhelming, so let me scale that up, up a bit. And scale this. So that is doing that. Let's grab the bottom of the foot now. 
first I want to select these I want to move them in that direction push 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 that like that I want to select these push them in this direction shapes looking a bit nicer that's actually I'm gonna bring this forward too and this too this one I'm also gonna Push in that direction. These sides are not going to be flat against the floor, but let's see what we can do about them. Let's grab that. Do this, this, and let's bring these down without subdivision. Push them in that direction. Try rotating too. Try and get them roughly on the green line. Do the same thing for the big toe. Like that. Skew this a little bit. Now that foot reference would be perfect right now. However, the shape of this foot isn't too bad. Try and push these in a little bit. Getting these shapes looking a little better. That's not perfect, but for what we want it for, it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. So this area would be good for underwear. And also, it's nice to push this scent bit in as well. Just 
be careful you're not pushing it too far in. Because if you do put your hand down, down the middle of your back, it does flatten out in this area here. So you don't want to have a line going all the way down. Just enough to give the back that back shape. <laughs> Make the back look like a back. <laughs> Get these out a little bit. This one too. Now this doesn't have to stick out like crazy. That looks good to me, and does that look good to you? Hands are always kind of a nightmare, especially when it comes to things like VR chat, because they like they it works the best with them when the hands are in this very specific position. I'm gonna get back to that position in a bit. But as far as subdivision goes, I'm happy with what we've got right now. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are in a um, similar position to this at the moment. It should be looking a lot better. The, the fingernails don't look too bad. I think actually I might push these up further a little bit. And the toes are looking a lot better than they were before. So this is working with very little vertices and basically just making the the modifier do a lot of the work for you. Let me push these these nails out a bit. I'm gonna grab these. Got proportional editing on. Let's push them down a bit. Just to flatten out these shapes. Push them forward, but also down. And a bit more down. like that. I like that better. And this one isn't looking too bad. But this gap is a little too big for my liking. So let me try and bring these closer to each other. I feel like one two okay let's see better. Alright, so we've got the hands, the feet, and everything else. To me, she does look like she's a little, she's bent a little forward, so let's edit that a little bit. Yeah, she's bent a little bit forward. So like this whole area. 
And also with this. Surely not this, not that one. Let's turn off proportional editing. Push that forward a little bit. Push this forward a little bit. better. All right, that's good for the modeling. Except now there's this line here. Let's see what that is. Let's see what that's all about. Move that up. Oh, it does kind of dip in a little bit. That's probably what's causing that little line to appear. can also do is this. Let's see. I do that. Can delete these faces. Just delete faces. And select these edges. Wait, just that, that, that. Push them together. Push these together a little bit. Oh, not not too much. Bring this down. Bring this up. Let's just do this. Bring that up. Bring these down. One, two. Three, four, and then these. Turn on proportional editing, push that back. Just a little bit. one can go out more. Sculpting. Let's turn that off for a second. Let's move this area. Nope. Clear out. Sculpting. This will be a lot easier to deal with. Um, after subdivision's been applied. Now that'll be fine. I can fix that after after doing some um after applying these. For now this is good though. So the ears need some help. So let's sort the ears out. 
I notice I keep saying this is good and I'm wait. Let me fix this thing. But that's good though. Actually, I'm gonna make that a bit smaller, just a little bit. There we go. Oh, actually, another thing that will help is Alt V. Add that split there. It's another thing that will help with the ear shape. Just move it a bit like that. Add that little, a little bit there. The rest of the details of the ears are going to be drawn on, so you don't need to worry about them too much. Alright, this is looking good for me. I'm gonna finish this off in the next video. Alright, let's save and uh, hope you guys kept up with that. Definitely a long video, but hopefully worth it. Um, see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna do my best to to post soon. Tomorrow, maybe. But no promises. Alright, see you in the next class. Make sure to post your pictures down below so I can so I can grade you. Um, after we finish the main part of the model, I'm hoping to do a recap a recap lesson. So we can go through everything speedy, speedy, fast and try and get this whole thing done and dusted for everyone. All right, cool. See you guys in the next lesson. Thanks for coming to class. Farewell.